So this vi video tutorial. So this video tutorial is mainly about showing you how you can get Minecraft EDU working in your classroom. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to set up a server. So to set set up a server, you just go to Start Minecraft EDU Server, and it will load up. Um, we can go back to the Restore Launcher, uh, but all you do is click Create New World. You can generate a random world, a uh, completely flat world with nothing in it. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, classic flat, or you can go to a water world, snowy kingdom, whatever you want really. Um, you can generate structures, animals, it's completely up to you. Now what you do is you start the server when you're, when you're happy. All right, so I'm going to start that server. And what it does is it gets your server ready and it gives you an IP address which you can give the students in the classroom. So I'm just going to wait for this to load up so you can see how it works. And while that's doing, okay. So you can see the server is starting up and it says you, you can connect to the server using this address. Uh, yeah, I'll allow that for today. Okay, so it says server is ready. You can connect to the server using this IP address. Now, when the students connect, that's the IP address they use. Now, let me just show you some of the features. So, that's uh, the server information, world information. Don't really do much with that. You can set a welcome message, but I don't really uh, mess around with that. Um, unless you want to put any objectives in there for students. This is quite an interesting one. Uh, what you can do here, um, I usually change that to creative mode so the students can kind of make their own world. Uh, maybe if you're doing a battle scene, you might do survival. Um, difficulty, I usually set to peaceful. Uh, you can uh, turn on weather. Now, for all sense and, all sense and purposes, um, I don't tend to allow fire or TNT when students are working, and the main reason for that is to avoid them from having the temptation from blowing each other's uh, buildings up. Um, don't need monsters because it's not in survival mode. Maybe sometimes I have animals if they are doing a project uh, around geography or project around history and they're trying to like have a uh, kind of stable of animals, uh, generate structures and allow other dimensions. So you can have a play with that. Uh, in player settings, what I tend to do when I'm talking is I tick three students and none of, and none of the students can move anymore. Uh, you can mute them so that they don't talk to each other through the chat log, but I like to have that on because if the chat log's there, when they're discussing their work across the classroom, it means they have to be less vocal about it. Um, do not, I don't recommend uh, enabling PvP because that's kind of the combat mode where they can uh, kind of slay each other and they can come back to life uh, later on but I don't tend to enable that and students can build. You can give your students items if you want so for example if I searched for computer I could give every single one of them the computer because I've got the mod installed. You can give them assignments so that will pop up on their screen and you've also got user control where you can see all the students that have previously logged in. Then in the server settings you've got some stuff as well. Uh, so you can store the player data so that they have their own login each time. Now if I go to restore launcher, what I'm going to do is show you how the students would log in to this server. So if I start Minecraft EDU and launch that, What it will do is it will load up Minecraft EDU and I'm going to show you how your students log in with it. So there's a number of ways you can do this. I'll show you the teacher login first. So please type your name, Mr. Chambers. Uh, let's go to mail, continue. So if I go to multiplayer, I can go 
direct connect and what it asks you for is the IP address now because this is on my machine it is localhost but 192.168.56.1 that's the IP address that's up there if I go to join the server I can say I'm the teacher and I can create a password I made that earlier usually it asks you so I'm now in this world now if I just press escape for a minute and move this over I'm going to launch that again it does allow me to have multiple uh, options so I can load it up a number of times just so I can show you the kind of the student in the world and what you would see so that's loading up again server and this time I'm going to be a student and you can pick what you want to be do a student or one do you wish to set not really now if I press escape there and move that to one side you can see now as the teacher you can see the other students and you can see me in the top left up here so in the student screen, they can see me going around as the teacher. But as the teacher, if you press M on your keyboard, you can actually 